Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Gallinero. I'm one of the co-presidents for the Roman 3D Printing Club. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how we made our Christmas tree ornament from our holiday extravaganza event. So I'm gonna go over a brief overview and the steps of how we got to, uh, from creating it to the exporting portion. So uh, when you sign up for Onshape, uh, if you're a new user, um, you're gonna be presented with the screen or, a, or an existing user. You're gonna to wanna to go to the create uh, button over here, which is the blue button. You're gonna to wanna to hit document. And we're just gonna name this Christmas tree for now. So once we're done picking a name, we're gonna hit okay. So now we're gonna be presented in a workspace where we can actually design our model. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is change the workspace units because um, this will actually make the printing process a lot easier for us on our end when we're, um, it comes time for us to slice the model. So you're gonna to wanna to go to document menu, which are these three bars next to the Onshape uh, logo. You're gonna to wanna to change, click workspace units and change that from inches to millimeters because that is what Kira is actually set into. So this makes it a little easier when we're transitioning the model from one unit to another. So after you're done, you wanna click that green check and then we're gonna, I'm just gonna show you real quick. This is how you actually move around on shape. Uh, this little cube over here, you can actually, um, if you right click, you can rotate it around and it gives you a view of your, your actual models. So this little cube over here, you're gonna wanna go to isometric and that puts you right back to the default view. So for now, we're gonna go to the top view and uh, left click that. And then once we're down and um, we see the top down view of the actual uh, three dimensional plane, we're gonna wanna hit sketch over here to create a new sketch where we can start actually drawing out this tree. So then we're gonna wanna click on this box until it high. So first we're gonna hover the mouse over and it's gonna highlight and we can click anywhere inside the box. It doesn't matter what part, as long as it's highlighted. So we're gonna click that. So next we're gonna want to take our line tool up here and we can, these are the tools. Think of it almost like, um, you know, drawing. This is like uh, your tools that you have, like different types of pencils and things. So we're gonna to wanna to click the line tool over here. You're gonna to wanna to hover over the origin and then we're gonna to wanna to click, or left click right here and then drag that line horizontally. So you'll notice that Onshape actually snaps it for you uh, parallel and it makes your line straight so that way you don't have to worry about things like that. So for now, we're just gonna drag it out any distance. We could even drag it out to real far. And then we're gonna drag it upwards and it's gonna be parallel or perpendicular. And then we're just gonna make a simple box by attaching it to this line. Make sure that it's not slanted like this. Make sure that it's um, slanted horizontally fully and it all snaps together. But you'll see those little dot lines. That means everything is um, symmetrical. So then we're gonna come back to the origin and you'll see when you actually create a complete um, shape, it's gonna shade it in gray. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's gonna shade it in gray. So now we're gonna use the dimension tool up here, which kind of looks like two arrows going in different directions. We're gonna wanna hit that. We're gonna hit the bottom line over here and drag that out. This is actually is just um, telling you what the measurement is. You can change this. So you can place it any orientation you like. I'm just gonna place it over here like this. Now I'm gonna change that to 10 millimeters. Now, as you can see, I'm typing in millimeters, but you actually don't have to do that. Since you already declared your workspace units, you can just put that as 10. So we're gonna hit enter. Now it's gonna make that box real small. So now we're gonna take the dimension tool once again, and we're gonna do this line that is um, parallel to the axis, the Y axis, and we're gonna go right here and drag this, drag and drop this right here. Now this is gonna be 15 millimeters going up. Okay, so now, as you can see, my screen's kind of cut off a little bit. Now I could either zoom into the model here, but to fully zoom out and make everything oriented again, I'm just gonna left click on the top here. And then I could, wherever I put my cursor and I use the scroll feature, oh, I have a mouse, so I use the scroll feature. If I scroll in, that's where it's gonna go. So if I put my mouse over here, it will scroll into that. So now you're gonna want to exit out the dimension tool, go to the line tool and hit this point right here and drag it out as far as you can. Make sure that it goes out all the way and then you're gonna to wanna to double click on this actual point. And then we're gonna dimension this. So just for this one, we're gonna do it like that. For the other ones, we're gonna change it up a little bit. So this is gonna be 60 millimeters. 
So I'm gonna hit the left click on the top. So now I'm gonna finish drawing this out. Now I did not have to break the sketch. I could have continued. I'm gonna show you in the next one what I mean by that. Um, for now, I'm just showing that you can just do a straight line and then continue on sketching uh, the line. So right now I'm just gonna continue. And I just wanna make sure I see that dotted line. That means that it's, um, it's parallel to the line that is selected. Go all the way down, complete that. So now the top one over here, I'm gonna bring that down and we're gonna make sure that's 40 millimeters. And as you can see, it's gonna automatically adjust everything for you. And then we're gonna to wanna to click this center line here, drop it down. This one right here is gonna be 20 millimeters. So now we have our first leaf of the tree. I'm just gonna organize everything a little bit. With dimensions, if you grab on the number and you left click and hold, you can actually move it. So I'm just gonna move it and make everything look a little bit nicer. So that way it's easier to understand. I'm gonna do the same for this too. So that way I can easily understand what's going on. Okay. So now we're gonna do it again, but this time I'm not gonna break the sketch. I'm just gonna keep sketching. So I'm gonna hit this point right here that's attached to the y-axis. I'm gonna go all the way left, and I'm just gonna keep going and complete the whole thing. Now I'm not worried about what the dimensions are. I just wanna make sure that I can complete the actual um, shape right there. And then I, after that is complete, I can just dimension it. So, and it does everything for me. So that's one of the nice things about Onshape is that you really you can just sketch things out and then worry about the constraints later. So I'm going to do the same thing here. So for the next one, it's going to be 50 millimeters. And you, yeah, so you're going to want to do the next one on top too. I'll make it even. So this is going to be 30. And then we're just going to drag it out just to make it a little bit um, more organized. So now I'm going to um, do the next one up here. So I'm going to keep going. And as you've seen, there's probably uh, you can probably tell that there's a pattern with this. It's just going to keep going. There's only a few more. It's not really uh, that many to this. So don't worry, you're not going to be doing an infinite amount of these things. I believe there's only like two more left. So, so we're going to do the bottom one over here again. And that's going to be 40. Now it's going to be 10. I'm sorry, not 10. That's going to be 20. Okay. So I'm just going to organize that a little bit so I can see everything. And now I'm going to do it one more, two more times, I believe. And then I should be good. So this one right here is going to come out to 20 millimeters. And we're going to do the bottom one over here, which is going to be 30 millimeters. And then the top one over here is 10 millimeters. Okay, so we're almost done with our staircase, kind of looking like a staircase at this point. But this is the last part up here, so we're just going to draw it. You can even draw it real small just so, it, so that way it fits, and then dimension it after. So we're going to want to make this one, um, we're actually going to pick this point. So instead of doing from the whole line, now we're gonna change it up. We're gonna do this blue point over here. And if it's black on your screen, that's fine. It's, it's, we're just gonna hit that point. And then also this point right here. And then this one should dimension out. And we're gonna make that down to five. And we're gonna organize that just so we can read it and understand it. And then the one up here, we're gonna to to click these two lines just to close this gap. And then this one we could just make zero. And then that's just gonna define a point. And we're gonna click over here, drag and drop that down, make that 15 millimeters this time, not the traditional 20. Okay, just gonna organize that. So now we have half of the Christmas tree. So this is actually the hard part. So we're pretty much done. This is the, uh, the most strenuous part of this whole process, but now it's gonna get easy. So we're gonna use the mirror tool right here, which is gonna make life easier. And we're gonna wanna select a, uh, a uh, line going down. So basically the split line of what 
we want a mirror on the other side. So we're going to select one of these. I'm just going to select the one going down right here. Now it says select entity is to be mirrored. So now I'm going to click on each one of these. And as you see, when I click on them, it's actually going to mirror each one to the other side. And they're going to be the same um, size and everything. So there's no need to worry about resizing and everything. So, um, yeah, so once you're done with that, your whole model should turn gray. That means that everything is all filled in, everything's all boxed. You want to click green on this uh, sketch one, and you've completed your sketch. So now it should look like a Christmas tree. But now we're actually going to want to make this a model, a three dimensional model. So we're right next to the sketch button, there's the extrude button. We're going to want to click that. Now, before we start selecting all these individual things, we're going to want to zoom out and left click up here in the top corner, a little bit above the model. Left click and hold and drag it. So now we're going to extrude everything, all of them at once. And then we're going to change this depth to three millimeters. And then click the check OK. So now if I go back to the isometric view, it's actually a three dimensional tree. So you're pretty much done with the model now. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to add the ornament feature, which is just a little key loop on top. So now you're going to want to go to sketch again. But this time, we're going to be sketching on the tree. So we're going to want to do a sketch right here. Click the tree. Now the sketch plane's on the tree. Zoom out just a little. Zoom in. So now we're going to want to go to um, this button right here, this point. Uh, we're basically going to define a reference point of where we can draw our, um, our arc for the little um, hook ornament for this. So we're going to hit point and then hit construction line. So construction line means that it's not really going to matter in the sketch. It's just going to be like a placeholder, like a reference. So when I drag my mouse over here from the top to the bottom over here, you'll notice that a box appears. And that's the, that's the center or the middle of that line. So we're going to click and place a point. So that's going to be a reference point. And we're going to do the same thing too. All you have to do is just hover your mouse over this and it'll automatically appear. So we have those two reference points now. We're going to unclick those two. And then we're going to want to go to the three point arc. So instead of clicking in the center, we're actually going to click the reference point on the left first. And then we're going to click the, click the reference point on the right. And then we're going to click anywhere. And then we'll just redimension this. So we're going to hit the dimension tool, change that radius. So the measurement that we have, um, and you notice that probably we've been using whole numbers this whole time, it makes it a lot easier. But we're going to use uh, 8.345 millimeters. So that's going to change that down a little bit. Now we're going to choose another three point arc, but this time it's going to be a little tricky. We're going to zoom in all the way. Now, as you bring your cursor down, you'll notice the dotted line that's appearing to the center. You're going to want to go to the center and then go to the left with the dotted line as it's going. And once you hit that line on the left, it's going to turn orange. You're going to want to click there, left click. And then you want to go over here, go to the center. And then you're going to want to see that dotted line all the way and then click again. And then move that radius up. Then we're going to do another dimension tool. And then it's going to be 4.173. And that should complete that. So we're going to complete the sketch right here. So now um, I'm going to show you real quick. If I change the view of this, actually, oops, I'm sorry. So now we're going to extrude this. So we're going to hit the extrude button. But now we're going to, instead of selecting the inside that looks like Pac-Man, we're going to select the outside that kind of looks like an archway. We're going to want to click that. And as you notice, it's actually coming up, which is not good. We don't want up. We're going to want to hit the arrow over here, which is going to reverse it. It's going to go back down into the model. We're going to make it the same uh, depth or, di uh, or um, thickness. And this should um, lock the whole model together. And then we're going to click the check bar. So this will, you'll know that the model is one piece when it highlights like this. Um, the one thing that I had a problem with during the holiday event is that these two pieces were different. They were actually two separate pieces. So this little ornament hook was different from this and there were actually two parts. It was part one and part two. So one way to fix this is to 
Um, now, I'm, obviously I can't show you on here with this one, but I'm just gonna kind of demonstrate it without it being there. So one thing I would recommend doing is if you have two parts, you're gonna wanna left click like this in the top and then highlight both parts. Go over here to this thing that looks like a wall, hit the drop down menu, do this nice laundry list of different things you can do, and then click on composite part. And once you hit composite part, it'll say parts and composite part. And then you follow the same uh, exact format as I'm about to show you on how to export it. So you're gonna wanna go to, you're gonna wanna uh, right click on your part one, or if it says composite part one, you're gonna wanna hit export. So you're gonna wanna make sure your format is in STL. You're gonna wanna make sure your units are in millimeter. And I would definitely keep that as fine. Um, so now we're gonna just change this. For this event, um, we're just gonna do it 3DPC dash, and then your first and last name. So I'm just gonna put my first and last name down, comma, and then you're gonna wanna do Christmas tree, what model you made. And then we're gonna to wanna to specify what color. So on the STL submission form, we have three colors. We have red, green, and blue. So Christmas tree is obviously green. So I'm gonna put green for that. So once this is done, you hit okay. It will go into your downloads. And I'm just gonna pause right here because I wanna just pull up the STL submission form and then I'll begin recording again and show you guys how to actually submit it. Okay, so I pulled up the um, event submission form for the holiday extravaganza. So in order to submit your, um, your model to this, um, we're just gonna ask for a little bit of information. So your first and last name, just gonna wanna fill that out, your own email, uh, what year are you, your major, and then we have provided um, the different types of filaments, um, what exactly, uh, what type of filament it is, um, and also the different colors with a picture so that way you guys get a sense of what this color really looks like. Sometimes the colors vary a little bit. And then we're gonna ask you, which model did you make? So obviously Christmas tree, uh, did you design it as an ornament? So we're gonna click yes. And then we're gonna ask you uh, two more questions. Basically, are you currently on campus? And if you are, it would be really preferable if you could come just pick up the model. It's a lot easier on us uh, as of right now. But um, you know, obviously if you can't, um, we'll obviously ship it to you. But if you can pick up your model, um, it will be in engineering hall 142, uh, I'm sorry, 143 outside in the uh, black uh, EX seed cart. Um, many of the freshman engineering clinics uh, use it for the Lego Duplo blocks. So if you're familiar with that, it's gonna be on that cart. Um, when you walk into the engineering hall, um, if you go straight down, you see a copier machine. And if you go straight down that hallway to the left and click another left, you'll see the cart there. So that's where we're gonna place the models. Um, and basically when uh, we're gonna ship out these models, if you do need it shipped, uh, we're just gonna ask you for, if you could put down your uh, mailing address and we'll hopefully get it uh, before the holidays. Um, definitely, we'll definitely get it to you before the holidays. So now I'm just gonna show you how to actually upload it. So we're gonna hit add file, select file from your device, go to downloads, go to Christmas tree green, upload that, hit upload. Okay, and then you hit submit. And then it should say your response has been recorded. And then we will be getting back to you with an email uh, shortly after we're done printing everything. And um, yeah, so you'll have your mile soon. So thank you for attending the event. And um, we hope to see you in the spring for future events. And we're really excited to uh, let you guys uh, 3D print and really experiment to uh, learn 3D printing to the fullest. So thank you guys again and uh, take care and have a good holiday and a uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.